Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for February 6th, 2021. This is the rune Laguz. Now, Laguz is the rune of flow. It is like water. It is like flow. And it is all about going along with what is happening, allowing the universe to kind of steer the boat and going with the flow and allowing this to be kind of a cleansing space, a space of renewal, a space of relaxation. Um, this is where you're going to find your happiness and be able to release the pain and the burdens that you're carrying. Um, your ideas, we, we always want to be doing something to help ourselves do action, move, do something. But this Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands, both reversed, are speaking about how these ideas are muddled. This The action part is muddled on it. It's not a clear idea. It's not a clear vision of it. If it's in this position, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords are both like, yes, this is the thing. This is the idea. You know what you're doing. You know how to put it together. You know exactly what's going on. And it is, boom, there's your sun, right? But when it's reversed, it means that those ideas are kind of muddled, that it's kind of delayed or you're frustrated or you don't have a clear vision of what's going on. And what this reading is basically saying is that for you to take action, Knight of Swords is about jumping into action as this little cute kitty is doing. He looks like he's about to catch a frisbee, doesn't he? Um, as you jump into action, you have to know that perhaps you should not jump so quickly. That maybe, instead of jumping into action, you just jump and let the flow take you for a, for a bit. It's not saying you should live your whole life this way. I know for some people a lack of structure is terrifying. Um, but it's kind of saying, let the universe take you where you need to go every once in a while. You don't have to structure and plan every moment of your journey, of your growth, of your learning, because we are human beings. <laughs> I know that that's cheesy, but it, it, it's literally in our name to be, to be. Yet we don't allow ourselves to just be. We always have to be doing we always have to be creating. We always have to be doing something. But we can also just be and allow the universe to take us, you know, down the river a little bit. See what happens. See what we find. See how we feel when we're not constantly directing where our emotions go and where our actions take us. I know this is a little bit of a vague one, but that's kind of the point. <laughs> it's kind of the point is to get a little bit of vagueness in your life, a little bit of go with the flow in your life and release, release control for just a moment. You are beloved, you matter, and you are so very loved.